Here I'm going to show you a simple Excel formula to extract any word from any cell in Excel, regardless of where it is in the cell and regardless of the separator that is separating each word. So we have a sentence here or something like a part number here. Doesn't matter. This is awesome. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. Let me show you how this works. So let's go here. We go equal sign. We start typing get. We see the function get word. Don't worry if you don't see that in your version of Excel. I will explain it shortly. Now we just select the cell with the text, comma. We tell it the separator. Here it's a space. A space separates each word or chunk of text. So quotation mark, space, quotation mark, comma. And now we say, which word do we want to get? Well, let's get the fourth word. So we type four. Close parentheses, hit enter. Bam. That's it. A super simple, easy function. Get underscore word. Select the cell. Input the delimiter. Say which word you want. Bam. Done. Now, a couple things. Get word. This is not going to be in Excel by default. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this function. It's called a UDF or a user defined function. And don't worry, don't freak out. It is super simple. Yes, we have to use a little bit of VBA for this, but you're going to be amazed by how simple it is. So I'll show you a couple examples of using the function. And then we're going to jump into the macro and I'll show you how it's made. So let's say we want to get the first word, super simple, once again, get word, bam, separator, bam, one, done. So it saves you so much time over the left, the right, the mid, and the len function. We want to go down here, we want to get something, equals, get word. Now obviously these aren't words, but word is just any chunk of text which is separated by something. So we select the cell, let's say we want to get triple O five comma, the separator here is a dash, so not a space, so quotation mark, dash, quotation mark, comma, three, enter, and we get it right there. So you see, it's really easy to do. We can get any word in the cell, it doesn't matter. And it would be a shame if I didn't show you now how to turn this back into text. So we start with text, we have a formula, and usually you're going to want to get text. So what I'm going to do is just copy this, put it right over here. We have a formula. Now I'll show you how quick and easy you can con how quickly and easily you can convert that to simple text. So that's it. What was that? One second? Two seconds? Now we have text. Now I've talked about that in a lot of tutorials, but I shall cover it quickly here again because it's a very, very important. So I hit control Z to undo that. Now we have the function once again. So all I did is I did what's called copy paste special values. So you select the cell with the formula, hit control C to copy it. Then you can do this one of a few different ways, but the quickest is to type alt E S V and then hit enter. So we're on the paste special window. It has selected values and enter will go ahead and hit OK for us. So enter, bam. Now, if you forget that shortcut, let's back it up. Just control C, right click and paste special. It's a little bit off the window right now. Go over here and we have a bunch of options and I bet you, there we go, paste values. Now I don't use this because it takes too long but right click and you can get the paste special options that way in case you forget the keyboard shortcut. All right, now let's get into the macro. This is so, so, so cool. So we're going to hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. Now this is a UDF and please download the tutorial. There's no point for you to type all this out by hand. Download it and follow along with me. So hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. If you're starting a new workbook, you wanna to go to insert module and you're going to get a little module dude over here. So double click that, go over here. And this is it. This is the entire macro. What is that? One, two, three lines of code. That's it. Now, before I go over the lines of code, let me say 
what makes this a, ma a UDF, what you need to do for that. So you may notice instead of sub, we have function. So replace sub with function and function down here as well. And one more very important thing, so easy to forget, and I'll put a note down here for that in a moment. This is the name of the function, get underscore word. And you want down here to set the same name as the name of your function equal to the output that you will show the user. So get word up here, get word down here, and set it equal to the output. Now, let's talk about naming real quick. None of the functions and formulas in Excel, or none of the functions, I'm sorry, have this sort of naming convention, where you have one word, and you just have a proper case, and then where the first letter is capitalized, then underscore, then the next word. You can name this however you want. You could do it like they might, which is just get word, or you can leave it like this, get word, or make it all capitalized, whatever you want to do. So whatever you like. But this is okay, no problems. Just if you rename it here, make sure to rename it down here. And then, when we go back to the spreadsheet, whatever you start typing equals get. You can see down here, it fills in. Get word, double click, yay. But we don't get the argument tips, and we don't get all that jazz. So it's a bit of a bummer, but this function's kept real simple, just three arguments. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to set some arguments for the function. Now there are more complex ways to make this macro, but I wanted to make it super simple for you guys because when you have a job to do, you don't care about all of the complex things or just the other things that you should do, but really don't need to do. And I say that before I talk about these. So here you want to create three variables and you could declare their type if you wanted to, but you don't need to. So we have one variable input data, comma, another variable delimiter, comma, another variable word. You don't have to say what they are. You just have three names. Name them whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It's just that we're going to reference them here in the macro. So the first thing that we're going to do is, there we go, word. We're going to subtract one from word. And I'm going to put little notes up here. So notes will come in shortly. Now, I can't really explain this very well until I skip ahead. So let's skip ahead and go down here to input data. Input data is the, it's going to be an array. An array is what allows us to hold many pieces of data. So instead of holding one text string, this array variable can hold five text strings or six text strings. It's an array. It can hold many different pieces of data. Let's say it holds five pieces of data. If I want to access number two, the second piece of data, well, the array allows me to do that. So I can just access that one piece of data. So what we're going to do with the array is we're going to actually break the sentence up into an array so that each word is in another part of the array. So to do that, we use the split function. So we type split, the data that we would like to split. And yes, I know these variable names are the same, and that can be kind of confusing, but don't worry. It's very easy to change the data stored in a variable inside of VBA. What that means is this data here holds a cell reference, and then with the same name, or sorry, this variable here holds a cell reference, and then the variable with the same name over here will be reset to be an array. If you want, you could change the name here, so maybe that's less confusing, so we could give it another name, and then we could give it another name down here. Maybe that's less confusing, so I'll leave it like that. But down here, so we have our range reference. And here we have a function that's going to split up all of the data inside this range reference. Well, how do we want to split it? We want to use our delimiter. So we input the delimiter here. And the delimiter, if you remember, it's a space up here. So it's the second argument. It's a space. Or down here, it was a dash right there. So the delimiter says split up the data in this cell at each point where there's a delimiter. So for here, that would give us four pieces. And down here, that would give us five pieces. 
So we use the delimiter, we use the space, or the dash in this case, to break up, to split our data into chunks. We get the data from here, split it, and then we put the split data into a variable here. This variable becomes an array, which means it holds each piece of that split data in a separate, let's say, unit, a separate entity. Each one is accessible separately. And then we reference it again right here. And we use the word variable to say which piece we want to get. That brings me back to word equals word minus one. So word's going to be a number. Which word do we want to return? Well, when we input that in Excel, it's logical to say, well, one is the first word, two is the second word. However, when we're dealing with arrays, the first entity is zero. So we want to make it so it's easy for the user, so they can input a one for the word, but that accesses the first element within the array. So we take the one up here, one, then we subtract one, and then we get zero. Then we set this variable equal to zero. Then we use zero down here to return the first element from another name. Now that's if you want to get the first element. If we go down here, we wanted to get element three. Sorry, element three right there. We just do it with three. This becomes three. Three minus one equals two. Word now equals two. Two. So we get a value from the array using the number two which actually returns the third thing, the third item or unit or entity, the third thing from the array. I know that can be confusing. Play around with it and you will quickly learn how that works. So now let's go ahead and add the note up here. So let's say allow the user to put one instead of zero to return the first element or let's do this first element and so on okay so hopefully if you download the workbook you've seen this video tutorial because that is not the best note okay another name let's say explode that's the name for this function in other programming languages or at least some of them explode the cell contents into an array based off of its delimiter. Down here, get the correct value to return from the array and display it to the user. So remember, we display it to the user by setting the name down here, which is the same name as the function, by setting that equal to something that we're going to output. And what that is going to be is whatever we return from this array. And that's all there is to this macro. So it's super simple, although it does require a little bit of understanding about potentially complex topics, mainly the array function or just array functions in general in VBA. But I'm hopeful that you are able to, after this explanation, at least understand it enough to take it and build something on your own. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.